What is the latest on the trade market for Baker? Yeah, Ryan, here's the deal. I just checked in with a source, and I was told the Browns are in no rush here. That they're prepared to hold on to him for a little bit longer because mandatory minicamp isn't until mid-June. They got some time. There's a lull in the action here, and teams have not been eager at all to do the Browns any favors here on that $19 million in guaranteed mm -hmm. money. They're just sort of sitting on this, waiting for the Browns to release him, and they haven't wanted to do that yet, haven't conceded. And so they can see, you know, what happens in the quarterback landscape. Maybe there's an injury. There's another other opportunity team gets desperate they're going to play the long game here it looks like okay so from the people you've talked to from what you see here you think there's any chance he ever plays another down for Cleveland I don't. I was looking at the list here of just all that's happened. It just mm -hmm. seems too much to overcome. Right? I mean, Baker himself has made clear he wants that, doesn't want to play another down in Cleveland. There's some lost trust. Uh, the Browns have been trying to replace him for months, if not years. Let's be clear about that. Mm. GM Andrew Barry, head coach Kevin Stefanski, did not draft Baker Mayfield. And then you have Jacoby Brissett. They brought him in. They're paying him nearly $5 million to potentially play if Deshaun Watson's out. Baker Mayfield's ripped the game plan. There's some lost trust potentially among Ooh. coaches. I just, I, I think it's too much to overcome but you know hey look he's uh, he's in a position where he has to come in and th the money's going to talk and also his future is going to talk if he's disgruntled and difficult it could be harder to get a job in the future he's got to think ahead if they have to play him maybe he'll concede but I just don't see it and you look at the Browns on the roster right now you know here's the thing though Lewis the NFL is a world in which if a team wants to win and they see Baker as the best option he may get in there what do you think do you think there's a chance he plays for the Browns this season Right, I think it's possible. It's probably not probable. I mean, look, they, you see right there, and as Jeremy already laid out, they have made you know all of their plans as far as how they have constructed this football team or with the idea that Baker, more than likely, I mean, he's not going to be there. I mean, you don't pay Jacoby Brissett what you're paying him because you think then you're going to have a quarterback on your roster who's m making upwards of $19 million. That's just not, that's just not good planning. That's just, that doesn't make any sense. So I, I don't I don't know I, I don't I don't see a situation with him being there. Although we all know that unfortunately in the off season, even in the off season, things can get sideways for a football team quickly, and what you didn't think was a need all of a sudden turns into a need. And when you know if you were to ask the question of how would that look if Baker would return to the locker room, look I think ultimately, although we on the outside when we're trying to discuss these kind of things as far as locker room dynamics think that once a guy gets in Baker's type of situation that all of a sudden they would like lock the doors and kick him out of the locker room and team and people would refuse to play with him and you know there would be an uproar look the NFL man look players are about trying to win games and inviting yeah. whoever will help them win games into the locker room so look I, I don't think it would be impossible for him to play there again but I just don't think it's probable I think right. that's a really great yeah. point because the idea that we forget this Browns team is still a team that feels like it's a true playoff contender, Lewis. They think they can go far. And if things aren't working out early on, mm. let's say with Jacoby Brissett, if Deshaun Watson isn't playing because of his issues, I wonder if they turn to Baker and try to see what they can figure out here. But if they do something like that, what kind of quarterback, Lewis, do you think Baker is at this point? Right, I think the best word for to really describe Baker is that he's dependent. He's dependent upon everything else around him really kind of humming at a high level, meaning the running game, the offensive line, pass blocking efficiency, the play action passing game. And look, without the benefit of the play action passing game over the course of his career, look, Hembo shot, shot me this step before we came on the air. And that's the fact that Baker really is a bottom third quarterback as far as drop back passing as measured by QBR, with, without the benefit of play action passing, what, so what does that tell you? That tells you this: if you can constant, if you can shut down their running game and make him a one-dimensional pocket passer, and make him a guy who has to beat you from there, from a stationary position, read out the progression, and really execute full field reads and just throw the football with anticipation and accuracy, you got him exactly where you want him. That's not a top third, top quarter type of quarterback. So for him, he needs everything else to be around him, really humming at a high level. Oh, sounds like he needs a huge support system. And real quick. Yeah, but uh, to Lewis's point, there would be some support for Baker Mayfield in the locker room. It's not like it's nothing but 53 enemies right, in there for right. him. He does have some friends, some people who believe in him there. And he's shown for two years that he has played at a decent level. I've talked to some execs around the league that are shocked yeah. that there's no market. It is amazing considering what people thought he would be and how far he has dropped since then. We'll see how that plays out. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.